Jeremy Clarkson has documented his struggle to expand his farm shop on Diddley Squab Farm in Chipping Norton. The shop first opened in 2020 and grew in popularity following the success of his prime video series Clarkson's Farm. The 63-year-old has faced numerous setbacks, including the council rejecting plans for an on-site car park and refusing planning permission to expand the shop into a restaurant. The shop has been temporarily closed since January, which is an annual occurrence during the quieter, winter months. It will reopen on March 1st, although Jeremy laments that the council has turned the guns on the shop and he can't even sell his own farming books there. In what could be a win for Clarkson, early this week Prime Minister Rishi Sunak promised to cut red tape and allow farmers to open shops, offices and other rural businesses. In a speech to the National Farmers Union on Tuesday, Sunak told farmers, I have your back, and promised to, change the culture, in government around farming. Discussing the speech in his new column, Jeremy wrote for The Sun, the Prime Minister has announced he will cut red tape so that farmers can open farm shops and sports facilities much more easily. He needs to move quickly, though, because soon he will be gone. And in his place we will have a tribe of barely coherent weird beards who think the countryside should be one big open space for the Kaguli Kumbaya Brigade, and that instead of buying locally grown food in locally run shops, we should import all the avocados and quinoa we need from South America. It comes as the highly anticipated third series of Clarkson's Farm will arrive on Prime Video on May 3rd. The upcoming episodes will see Jeremy, along with girlfriend Lisa Hogan and team members Caleb, Gerald and Charlie, face a new batch of challenges, including Jeremy's dashed dreams for a farm restaurant. Prime Video says Jeremy will also face a rise in prices for farm supplies and try to turn a profit by using hundreds of acres of unfarmed land, including woodland and hedgerows. His other schemes will involve involve goats, pigs, mushrooms, nettles and deer.